Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about what are server jobs in Azure pipelines. Right, so server jobs is not a very much widely used uh, job type in Azure pipeline. Nevertheless, it is used in few situations which might be very useful. Honestly, if you ask me, I have not used it. Uh, I have not used this very much widely in my day-to-day -day work. But I have learned it from my peers that uh, you know, server jobs might be very, very useful in few situations. Let's discuss about uh, all those scenarios in our next slide. But for now, let's try to understand what are server jobs. Okay. Uh, so when uh, until now, whenever we ran jobs, right? So it actually ran on an agent. Uh, it ran on an agent like if you look at Microsoft hosted agent or self hosted agent right so we had an agent on which a particular job will run where else the server jobs it does not require an agent it is an agent less jobs or it does not require any target computers All right so tar tasks in Azure server job are orchestrated by and executed on the server so whenever someone asks where does the server job runs it actually runs in Azure pipelines or TFS teams for uh, teams foundation server, right? So let's look at an example about how we can actually use the server jobs in real time uh, pipeline execution. All right. So let me create a new pipeline. Let me use a classic editor for a better understanding. And I'm going to select the repository and continue. So let me create a empty job. All right. So here I am. So if you look at this page, you can see we have something called agent job one. It runs on an agent. Right. So but whenever I click on pipeline, build pipeline, if I select this three dots here, we have an option, couple of options. One is add an agent job. Another one is an agent less job. So we are looking for an agent less job. All right. So here, if you click or select this, if you click this plus icon where we are looking to add a new task. Okay. So these are the tasks that are actually available in uh, agentless job. Okay. The options are very much minimal. For example, you see we have only delay. You can invoke an Azure function, invoke REST API. You can do a manual validation. You can publish to Azure bus service. You can query Azure monitor alerts, you can query work items. All right. So these are very limited options that is actually provided uh, on an agentless uh, job. Okay, this is you know, these are the usual tasks that you can run on an um, server uh, on a server job. All right. So if we look at this very first example delay. Okay, so so until now, you might have ran uh, on an agent, right, as I said, uh, you might have ran the job on an agent, all right? But how does an agent runs on the backend? Okay, so it will uh, look for an existing agent. So it will uh, check if it is online or not, and it will take. Uh, what I mean to say is, it actually takes some time to actually uh, you know identify an agent, uh, look go into the agent pool, identify an agent, and verify if it is online or not, and then it will kickstart your job execution. Again, if you look at the container, containerized job also, it will take some time to actually start your execution. Whereas in a few tasks, for example, uh, if you want to delay, uh, if you want to delay an execution of a workflow by a certain amount of time, in those situations, you do not need this kind of jobs to be run on an agent. All right. So this can be handled by your pipeline itself. Okay. So these kind of tasks are what you actually run on, run on an agentless job. Okay, so for example, you have delay. If you want to invoke a REST API, all right. So if you want to invoke a REST API and all, you you do not need uh, you do not need an agent to do that, all right. So so uh, so these are the situations where uh, server jobs might be very much handy. For example, if you select on agentless job and click on the plus icon and select delay. So for example, if you want to delay by delay your execution by one minute, then you can provide the time here in minutes and uh, uh, save and run your job. Okay, so this actually delays your execution by one minute. Okay, for this kind of task, you actually do not need a uh, an agent. All right. So similarly, if you want to add any other uh, 
uh, function like you if you want to invoke an azure function currently i have not developed anything but for some some reason if you want to invoke any azure function you can provide those details and uh, you know you can call an azure function right so for this you do not need an agent okay so in these kind of situations server uh, server jobs might be pretty much handy all right so you know my intention is not to go in very deep here i want you guys to be aware of this particular concept called server job because this is also a type of job which you might need to understand if you are put in a situation where you come across this kind of tasks you can go and uh, use this agentless job which is our server job all right so yeah that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys um if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you